Okay. Uh, this is where we all the part time. So right now, I'm, I'm blank. Are you at the? Yeah. Okay. I thought it was this. Call the order, please. Okay. Six o'clock. All. Okay. 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 Sure, the right one. Yeah, well, the neighbors that are lost off going on. I apologize for being down. No, we're not. 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 we We have approval of the previous minutes, which we were told we didn't need to do, weren't we? There's a little discrepancy that um, the state may want for the city report. A motion in a second, but you want to establish a quorum, right? There is a quorum present. We have quorum present. Comments on the minutes? Uh, we were told that we really didn't need to vote on this, that we just accept the minutes and move forward. Vote on? Accepting the minutes. It's just a matter of... I think you do need to. This is not a special called meeting. This is a regular scheduled meeting. All right. Can I get an acceptance on the previous minutes? I move the minutes of the May 2nd. 2023 Mount Eagle Regional Planning Commission be accepted and submitted. Did I add the wrong? No, that is the correct one. We didn't have any meeting in between, right? Okay. Any seconds on that? I'll second. Well, we just want to stay here all night. I'll second that. Thank you. I have a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Thank you. <coughs> Staff and community reports. Do we have any staff or community reports this evening? I have none. Okay. Old business. Building permit expiration zoning code amendment. In our workshop, the commissioner discussed this. We've accepted the document with four changes. Those changes are going to be documented and sent to Anya. And Anya will push this into the council's hands. Yes. Could, when you, could you state those uh, amendments for the record? State them changes. Mm -hmm. Those changes were. We're going to we're going to clearly define that the power of enforcement falls onto the inspector and only in the inspector's hands. We will remove the fee amount from our document, and that will be reinserted by the council. We will refer only to implement weather as being precipitation, either wet or frozen. Was that it? Anybody remember anything else? So with those changes, do I have a motion to adopt? So you're making a motion to recommend to city council who then has to do two readings. Correct. And they cannot make any changes. If they make any changes, it goes back to the planning commission. Motion to recommend to City Council. Second. I second. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Thank you. Wow, that's been seven months of the day. A new business. Volunteer Behavior Health Services Site Plan. That's your Thank you. I apologize for my absence in the last meeting. I had it arranged for someone to be here, but that fell through. All right. But I made it this time. Good. <laughs> well, go ahead. Tell me what's going on. Well, I believe um, since the, the, the last meeting that I was here at, um, we have uh, uh, added parking in the front. Um, the uh, we are asking that the that be considered a side setback, I believe, from where the addition is going. Uh, it still leaves uh, 
think 12 to uh, 14 feet to the property line. Uh, there's quite a bit of vegetation there that would remain uh, should, should the property next door sell or be redeveloped, et cetera. I think there's still plenty of uh, vegetation to keep that separation. That overhead power issue that was addressed, it was not on you? Yes, it was addressed. Okay. Yes. Any further comments? No, sir. Uh, we, we're looking for approval on this site plan. Yes. Commissioners, any comments or discussions on this? Is no. there staff recommendation? Yes. What? It's recommended to approve. Comments? Of the comments? Do we have a motion to approve? Motion to approve, approve volunteer health services site plan. Second. Second. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, item B in new business is campgrounds in C3 District, Randy Hill. Mr. Hill, welcome. Good to be here. Uh, I'm purchasing partnership on three parcels out here, and it is in C, is it in C3? C3. It's in C3, and the campground has to be in C2 to be a campground. And I'm double checking on what is permitted right now. Yeah, so right now campgrounds are only permitted in C2, uh, there's a special exception for R3. R3. And then. Where are, the, where are these located? Out of a well road, uh, go across the interstate behind the truck stop, mm -hmm. right out there before you get to. Uh, I don't forget his name. Uh, out there at Taylor. Uh, Stevens' place. Yeah. On the right, right before you get to that, it's on the right there. All right. Three parcels. One of the parcels don't connect and it's 2.5 acres or a little over. Uh, if you have to have three acres to be in a, have a campground. That section I'd like to have it rezoned to C2 where we could put our store and where you pick up your passes and all that out there. Mr. Hill, have you done any work on a site plan to this point? No, sir. I have to Wait for the zoning approval. Good for you. To do that, I don't want right. to get the cart before the horse. So, any comments? Um, I haven't fully reviewed this yet. I just talked to Randy maybe a month ago, and I just recommended that he come before the board and explain what he wants to do. And I can show you the three parcels on my laptop if you want to see exactly where they're located. But two of them are connected and one is separate. So depending on what direction the planning commission wants to go in. Is the request to change the zoning or the... I think that's what I recommended Very Randy good. to I'm come up here. Change of the zoning at the present time, then we'll go forward. Or, for part of it. or the best, better idea instead of changing the zoning is if the planning commission is open to opening up campgrounds into C3, it would be an added use into the C3 district. But it really depends on what direction you want Mont Eagle to go in because then you'd be opening up for a lot more campgrounds. Who's the current owner? Rodney Kilgore. So it's not on Wells Road, it's past Wells Road? No, it's on Wells Road there. There's, a, there's a smaller Wells Road on the bottom there. There's a, I, you're thinking of the big Wells Road that connects into the residential area, and there's a Wells Road between, I'm going to show you the map. I think it'll be easier. <coughs> it's between Rocky Top Road and Wells Road, there's a bunch of parcels. Oh. This one, this one, this one. Good ones again? The one that's highlighted All and right. then these two big ones. Gotcha. Could you point out the yes. parcels? That one that's highlighted and those two big ones. So our options here are for the planning commission to pursue a change of use to C3 
or giving it to the BZA and change zoning. But you recommend we look at changing the use? Uh, I would not recommend changing the zoning because I would just be, in my opinion, spot zoning. Yeah. It would just be, be word. you know. And it sounds like only part of the property would need to be changed. I mean, I, I don't know which parcels. Are you combining the bigger parcels? Yes, we'll combine the big ones. I'll put about, what, 15 acres in that parcel. In the little one, there's it says it's almost five. Well, the small one is eight and six. Yeah. So, we'll if you want to operate. Combine the two big ones, what will that do? How many acres? Uh, 17. So you're saying either we spot zone or we or we uh, change, add it to. If you want campgrounds and to be permitted in C3, because then you're opening it up. I don't think we have enough information to make to have that conversation at this point. What information would you like to have? I don't know. I don't. Know. I don't know. This is the only request that's come up recently of wanting campgrounds in C3. I think it would just be a discussion that you all would need to have if you want to have more campgrounds. And we, uh, we approved a campground not far from here mm -hmm. a year ago. Was that in C3 also or was it in? It was an industrial. It, it was, was industrial one. And it got rezoned to R3 because That's campgrounds correct. were special exceptions in R3. But I have not received any site plan from them, and I know they we just have just talked about. Planet. Commissioners, any comments on the direction to take? Let's let's. I don't, don't know. Which direction, direction do we take on this? Well, with more information, I would think it would be all right to go to C three, but does that allow your C two to be a store, or how does that work? Is it part of the facility that he can have on his that store? Separate. Separate parcel. You said you wanted to have office offices yes. and, and probably a small store. Where you buy. Yeah, I assume that you wouldn't have that would be permitted yeah, now as it is. C three. C three. Yes. So that is okay under C three. Yes, but the only question is the the campground. Well, off the top of my head, I'm not opposed to putting it in C three. That's kind of the way I'm at, particularly if you could break that parcel off, use the parcel he has for the store in the office, and just break off the, the section that's going to be a campground to change. But the main question for you all, separate from Randy, is do you want campgrounds in your C3 uh, area, and right. what information can I provide for you in order to make this decision? And I don't know off the top of my head either. I, it, it really is, I mean, this is also um, a great time that, you know, the AIA process will help with the direction of Bonnie Gold wants to go in. Well, why wouldn't we just kick it to the BZA and change the zone? It wouldn't be a BZA thing. It, it wouldn't, wouldn't be, no. I, I wonder if rephrasing the question would help. So behind Anya, what is brown is C3. And so I think what Anya is saying is, are there other places within the town of Mount Eagle in the C3 zoning where you wouldn't want to see a campground? Yes, and that, and you know some because that, information. What you would be doing. Right now, you're limited. Thank you. The, right now, you only allow campgrounds in acres that are three acres or more. So I could get, bring you a map of all the properties in C3 that have three acres or more. There are many. No. There are many. There aren't. Oh, okay. Well then, mm -hmm. then you might be. It might be limited unless someone combines uh, parcels later on. Public comments? Any input? And it could be by special exception too if we want it, right? Yes. I mean, it would just be an extra hoop to jump through. It, yeah, I, I mean, it's like we've talked about before, special exceptions is hard to deny unless you have a very specific criteria. Mm -hmm. Well, you mentioned other businesses that if we did this, other businesses could fall under the same uh, change. What, what other businesses were you referring to other than campgrounds? I don't remember that statement. Okay. Uh, 
Do you, could you expand on what I had said, what you heard me say? I thought you were alluding to other businesses that, that we wouldn't want in a C3 other than a campground. So maybe I just misunderstood. Okay. We have previously talked about amending, I don't know if that, that was a conversation a couple months ago where we talked about moving some of the changes from industrial to C3, vice versa. Where did the council go with that at the last meeting on the C2, C3 issue? On the first reading was approved as it was. Okay. Is, is that through the first reading, right? So, oh yeah. Did it just go through one reading so far? Mm -hmm. I would suggest we have more information in front of us to make an intelligent decision based on the zoning map. I mean, just looking at this map from 25 feet away and trying to make a hasty decision about changing the zoning or uh, adding campgrounds in C3, I think we're just, we're, we're moving hastily here. I would suggest we table this till we have time to study. So would it be helpful for you all if I brought you a map with all the parcels greater than three, three acres or greater, so that you can see where campgrounds could uh, submit a site plan for in C3? Absolutely. Okay. But when would that be? At the next meeting. At the next meeting. Or, I mean, I could send it out ahead of time if you'd like. I could send it out after this meeting. Well, I'll be down in child. Are they paper copies or digital? I can send a digital. Because okay. I'll be in Chattanooga in a week or so. I can give it to you. So and, too. and bring it up. At least there'll be time to study is my point. Sure. If you think of any other information you'd like me to bring at the next meeting or send out, just email me and I can distribute it immediately once I get that information. So in our current zoning, where do we put our campgrounds now? C2. C2. And special exceptions in R3. Special exceptions in R3. That was voted on. That was a recent amendment. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out when that was added. Would there be a site plan review by the next meeting? Mm, I'm I just trying to get a timeline to help the developer if that's what they well, want to do. Well, that would be a Randy question. How can that you would be hard to do with the holidays coming up. When is the next meeting? I would also recommend not doing your site plan until this. Right. It's done, but okay. the next That's meeting we need to talk about because it's on July 4th, okay. which would be the 11th. Okay, do you want to change? We'll talk about that after the meeting. Because so July 4th, we're not going to. Right. July That's 11th is the next meeting. That's my guess. If it's up to you, Mr. Chairman, yeah, it's, it's going to have to be a special called meeting. Be the 5th or the 11th. We, we would want to discuss that, yes, yeah, since it fell on the 4th. Okay. Um, at this point, I think we need to request more information to address this, what direction we head, I am not sure about right now. Um, I'm going to uh, ask for it to be changed for the next meeting, you know, or we have to be left in the, you know, C3. That way, the we'll next meeting, maybe we can make a decision if we want it in C2, if you would go ahead and rezone it in C2. I would like to give you an answer before you spend money on a site plan, right. too. I might do a rough site plan or something, yeah. and call it nothing. Then that way, Don't you know, do much. I understand all these steps, you know, mm -hmm. everything. All right, so we're not taking a vote on this. We're right, just, it was mostly discussion. It point. is. It's an open discussion, and we'll look for a submission and put it on the next agenda. And I'll distribute any research I can do before, and if you guys think of anything else that would help you make your decision, let me know. Thank you. Okay. While we're on the subject, the fifth or the 11th uh, for the next meeting. Any input from you commissioners? I Which day? I will be here for the July 5th. So yeah. Want to shoot for the 11th? The 11th is preferable. Okay. Let's, let's establish the next meeting of the Planning Commission on July 11th. Okay. okay. Same time? Yes. Let me double check my schedule. Thank you, Mr. Hill. Thank you. See you next time. Sorry we didn't help you much today. Um, do we have persons with business before the commission this evening? Anything from the public? 
Well, if I may, just is the 11th the right time? Yes. Timing? Yes. For and I, um, will you put in a special, or uh, what's it called? Public notice? I think I read we can do that on our uh, city website now. And I see a change in state law. I don't like know. That. that the I agenda can be posted on yeah. this. Well, the yeah. agenda yeah. now has to be posted. Or it needs to be available to the public 48 hours in advance right. in the meeting. And you could um, use the, the, the website the website to do that. Yes. But I think public notices, I don't, Debbie knows more about those requirements. I talk more about the agenda than the notice. Yeah. I don't think that no comments, no discussion. Agenda? Okay. I, I, I'm confused too. I just want to understand this. Um, when when it, you said it could be rezoned to C3 for the campgrounds, mm -hmm. and if you didn't do that, then you would take that two and a half acres and do some sort of special. Uh, how am I? I'm Sorry. But, um, they're talk it is already that parcel those parcels he's talking about are already zoned C three. Uh, campgrounds are not a permitted use in C three, so he's asking for that use to be added to that district. So okay. he would be permitted to have so campgrounds. We basically have two choices. We can give him that permitted use in C three or he can go for your what you call spot zoning. They exactly change right. the zoning. Yeah, that's that's right. Right. About it most likely will not be uh, passed. So the spot zoning is what. Yeah, kind of I would not recommend going to, down that process. That would set a precedent for other people to do the same thing. Yes. Um, you you yes. said that those some of those changes to make R two um, exceptions for R three exceptions for campgrounds and then the C two. Um, you said those are fairly recent. Surely, then I think probably part of the research and to present to the commission would be the reasoning behind some of the discussion that led to why you limited it to R3 and or C2, so that you don't now review this thing without um, listening to the arguments that was made originally. So it had. I think it had always been permitted in C2, but then it says here in. July 25th, 2022. That was when campgrounds was use, added as a use granted upon approval of a special exception in R3. So C2 has always been that way, and R3 has just been in 2022. Aren't campgrounds also allowed in R4? Yes. So, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I was at those meetings. What happened is the developer came and requested R4 designation to do a campground and to also have some tiny rental cabins. And the commission at the time did not want to go down the tiny home uh, route at all, right. and instead proposed to him that they rezone it to R3 and allow campgrounds with a special exception so that they, he could get his campground without having to open um, the town up to set a precedent for allowing houses smaller than 600 square feet. Mm -hmm. yeah. no, no offense to Mr. Hill, I, I'm not picking on him or anything like that, but again, this goes back to what you had said earlier about, you know, kind of stick to your guns and let's let people comply with what we've got going on with some, certain exceptions and all, but just open that up as part of your thought process when you're reviewing all the data. And it really is a big question of whether you'd like to see more campgrounds because they are becoming more popular that is some of the research I could also pull for you is just what is trending right now. And you have uh, other campgrounds opening up in the C2 district with that HOA park, or JOB park. And there was something out, Randy Tate, I think also wanted to have an RV park, right? I remember there's a, something there's about a, that, yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. In that little orange area over there. It's difficult without sight like, It's difficult without seeing. Yes, but these parcels connected and what's where they're located and what's going on. And but, but again, you don't want to put it to that heavy expense. Well, also, you don't want to base a decision just on him. You want to base the decision right. on right. the bigger picture. So, right. it, regardless of whether his what his site plan looks like, I think that would be good to see what other parcels exist that could allow a campground, which is three acres or larger. 
further concerns or comments? Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.